babies in front. And that does take four counts. So now that you finish four counts, you go four steps back. One, two, three, four. And flip. Two, three, four, forward. And gentlemen in front. And if you have a little shorty partner like me, gentlemen, you're going to either have to bend your leg, let go of those hands, step your head, something. And then four steps back. One, two, three, four. Drop hand, drop left. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're going to start your partner. Now something fun about this dance, when you're doing that, that balance, you should look at your partner. Because these dances were used to get to know people of the opposite gender. So we're not going to talk to each other tonight, but they would have been talking. You've probably seen Pride and Prejudice or Little Women or that type of thing. And they're actually talking while they're dancing. That's because they did these dances since they were little bitty people. But since we're new to it, don't talk. <laughs> but smile nicely at your partner, and the lady's hand—the <laughs> lady's hand should not be above her with the shoulder. shoulder. Thank you. Her hand should not be above her shoulder. So you tall guys, you might want to be going like this, but I can't see you up there. And usually these dresses are kind of restrictive, so you want to keep that 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 hand only at her shoulder height and look at her.